Remember how I told you the Democrats want to outlaw their political opponents, namely one of the country's two historic political parties? Well, apparently if they can't push their extremist, pseudo-religious ideologies in the public schools, stock their libraries with gay porn, and put on adult-themed drag shows for kids, then it's literally terrorism. What do you think? I think it was extremely clever um, and, and I really appreciate the NAACP's guidance uh, on this issue. What? Oh, it was clever, she says. To me, it just seems astoundingly dishonest and divisive and will obviously sow racial paranoia and hate in this country. Imagine for a moment that Republicans put out a warning to white people to stay out of crime-ridden, Democrat-run cities. We saw how well that went for Scott Adams, who was called a racist. But again, as we know, it's obviously different when Democrats do it. You know, I just took my family to, to spring break in Florida recently. I'm sorry, what? How are we even seeing you speak right now? How did you make it out of Florida alive? And I think about all of the folks who traveled there for sun and joy um, and peace and restoration. And to be reminded that actually this is getting to the point where Florida is about to be a terrorist state to, to many of us here in America, certainly as a lesbian, as a black woman, I don't want to have anything to do with the place. You know, I just took my family to, to spring break in Florida recently. <laughs> You don't want to have anything to do with the place. You mean other than the vacation you admitted you just took? Oh, that was different. Um, and I think about all the other people who don't want to travel there either. And so I think it was very clever on behalf of the NAACP. I thank them uh, for issuing this broad uh, guidance. Broad guidance? All it says is to stay out of Florida because there's scary white people there. They give no examples whatsoever of policies that supposedly put these groups of people in danger. I'm gonna show you another maddening example of this insanity, but first take a quick 30 seconds to hear about this free coin offer from Noble Gold. There's no denying it, gold is hot right now. Prices are soaring and experts are predicting even more to come. Not so long ago, gold reached its all-time high of $2,069 an ounce. And right now, it's inching even closer to that number again. Bank of America, one of the largest banks in the world, is saying gold will rise further still to over 2,200 an ounce later this year. Right now, Noble Gold is offering a five ounce America the Beautiful coin for any qualified IRA or old 401k rollover terms do apply. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold Investments. Call right now. That's 877-646-5347. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. Or you can go to noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. And you can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. And remember, there's always risk in investment and there are no guarantees of any kind. The NAACP has issued a travel advisory for Florida. It says the state is, quote, openly hostile toward African Americans, people of color, and LGBTQ plus individuals due to a series of measures recently signed by Governor Ron DeSantis. Those measures are known as laws. Laws passed democratically by democratically elected representatives. What are these dangerous racist laws that apparently threaten literally everybody except for straight white people? We don't know because they never say. And the reason they don't say is because if they did, most normal, non-mentally ill people would agree with them. Why do you believe that Florida is so hostile to black Americans? Well, it's been demonstrated by the governor's action and the policies that have been advanced. Well, we're waiting. Well, I keep thinking about the black people that live there. I actually have two sisters that live yeah. in Florida. What this what this means for people who live there or people of color who are planning to go to Florida, I don't know. It's very I, I, unsettling to me I, on many I, levels. Again, we're talking about a governor who was elected democratically with a 20% margin of victory and who has passed all of these laws democratically, which once again suggests that Democrats believe that democracy simply means Democrats in control and always getting what they want. What is any of this? 
this even have to do with terrorism? Terrorism is using violence or threats of violence to gain a political outcome, which is something that Democrats are very adept at. What are these supposed dangerous policies? We never know because they're always very vague about it. But these are policies that remove gay porn from school libraries, remove far left ideological beliefs like gender theory, queer theory and critical race theory from school curriculum. Black history is still taught, including that AP course that they often cite as an example. Remember, Democrats and their media spent years telling us that critical race theory wasn't in the schools, but now suddenly they're telling us it's literally terrorism if it's not. Now this segment actually ended pretty good, with Gail King's co-host chiming in with some truth that threw cold water on her theatrical performance. Yeah, I mean, I think Ron DeSantis is very happy to have this fight. Yeah. I mean, for the NAACP to say oh, democracy will prevail, I mean, democracy is prevailing in Florida, the state legislator pa legislature passed these laws. The governor signed them. That's the process. He got votes from majority of Latino voters, yes. a, a decent portion of the black population there. And this is the democracy. Vote them out next time. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, they don't really like democracy unless they're getting what they want. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment to continue the discussion. Thanks a lot. I'll see you on the next one.